All right, everyone, good evening. Uh, I'd like to call the regular council meeting of uh, December 14th, 2022 to order. Uh, first, starting off, I'd like to acknowledge that we're meeting on the traditional lands of Acadia First Nation, part of Mi'kmaq, the ancestral territory of the Mi'kmaq people. The reason for this regular council meeting is because uh, it's following our Committee of the Whole meeting and there was only uh, Committee of the Whole recommendations that were coming forward. Is there any other additions to the regular council meeting? Hearing none. Uh, so if that's the case, we only we have eight committee of the whole recommendations that's co come forward to regular council. So I'll move off to uh, the first one. It was a recommendation, a recommendation from the committee of the whole a motion to discuss the funding request for the community navigator funding program from a presentation that we received earlier. Deputy Warden Trevor Cunningham, you have the floor. All right, so we had a fantastic uh, presentation from um, the community uh, navigator uh, program. Um, and um, given that the, both the municipality of Argyle and the town of Yarmouth will be contributing uh, $30,000 uh, uh, for the next three fiscal years, and uh, given that some enhancements are going to be had by increasing the funding, I'll move uh, that that Modi increase support uh, for the community navigator uh, project by ten thousand dollars a year to thirty thousand dollars per year for the next three years. Okay, a motion on the floor. Do I have a seconder? Seconded by Councillor Nick Hilton. Is there any discussion on that motion on the floor? Councillor Patty Durkee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and th thank you, Deputy Warden Cunningham, for bringing forward that motion and um, matching the funds that the other units have put forward as a motion. Um, just so that public knows where this, some of this money is going, first of all, um, the community navigator position is hoping to do more traveling to conferences this year, which will increase costs, um, food costs, etc. cetera. Um, because she is so busy that there's thought that we'll, they'll probably have to hire someone part-time to meet all the needs. Um, as I had mentioned earlier, we have to take a step forward from everybody else in the world who's trying to recruit doctors. And to do that, it requires some incentives. And I know there was an executive, executive decision made uh, more than once to offer some particularly brand new doctors or family doctors who are setting up businesses, some incentives. Uh, we can't give them money, but we can cover costs of rent or a rental car or whatever for a period of time. And, um, and so sometimes we don't know exactly uh, when we're going to do that, but I know with brand new doctors that the, the costs of setting up new practices is um, extremely expensive so I will 100% be supporting this motion thank you any more discussion on the motion on the floor hearing none all those in favor signify by saying aye, aye. opposed motion carried unanimously thank you Second recommendation from the Committee of the Whole, there was a motion to move to the Committee of the Whole for the approval regarding the quorum requirement for the Liaison and Oversight Committee for the REN. Is someone willing to make that a motion? Um, Councillor Durkee, you have the floor. I'll make the motion that, um, that we request a reduction of the um, What's the word I'm looking for? The uh, required percentage of, uh, in order to get quorum, from 75% to 50 plus 1%. Um, um, the <laughs> the towards the uh, uh, intermunicipal change. The request to change an intermunicipal agreement to reduce the size of the quorum for the LOC. Okay, a motion on the floor. Did that come up seconder, right? seconded by Councillor Nick Hilton. <laughs> Madam CEO. So, so just for clarification, so the request was that we would agree to amend the IMA, and I think what I'm hearing council say is you're agreeable to amending the intermunicipal agreement so long as the other units are. Gotcha. Is there any discussion on that motion on the floor? Hearing none, 
All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. Third recommendation from the Committee of the Whole was for the CAO and Warden to reach out to the Town of Yarmouth and Municipality District of Argyle, CAOs and Mayor and Warden regarding regional collaboration governance. What is the wishes of Council? Deputy Warden. So move is read. <laughs> a motion on the floor. Do I have a seconder? Seconded by Councillor Daniel Allen. Is there any discussion on that motion? Question being called. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. The fourth recommendation from the Committee of the Whole was for staff to review the community grant application form. That's all I have written here. <laughs> Well, I apologize. I thought I had these written down better. Yeah. So I think, Mr. Chair, it was um, with a mind to making recommendations um, that would bring back information about the applicants and their accessibility standards. Moved by Councillor Sherry Herbert, seconded by Councillor Patty Derkey. Any discussion on that motion on the floor? Councillor Allen. So just a question, because I, I think I understand what the motion is. Um, so if, if someone doesn't meet accessibility standards, we're not looking at procru, procru, pro, excluding them, I guess. I'll go with exclu, <laughs> excluding them from the grant process because you know there could be instances where maybe if someone, for example, doesn't have a wheelchair ramp, but what they're applying for um, may be a necessity, right? right? They, they'll still be able to they'd still be able to apply like we wouldn't be able to say you need to put a ramp first uh, I guess the, I, I just want to make sure I get the I want to make sure I have the the you know 100% of, of where we're going because I, like earlier you were the, the comment was you know if, if we want to make sure that they're 100% we want everyone to be accessible because we're moving into that age and I agree with that but there may be some stuff that comes up that you know, even though a place may need a ramp, something may have to happen before they get the ramp. You know, so I want to make sure we can't, we're not excluding someone because of an accessibility issue. Yeah, somewhere there. Councillor Herbert, you wish to answer that? I'll try. Um, I think that the premise for it is just to ensure that the application, that the community organizations know that accessibility could be part of what they're asking for and making sure you know we, we can't I, I guess I feel like the municipality can't say you know you have to do this because it's only public sector bodies that are required to do certain things by a certain timeline but I think more of an encouragement to have it on the application so that they can see that you know there could be you know we that there could be things that we would be able to, you know, provide grant money for, you know, that would help with their accessibility. So I, I guess I, I think once staff come back with, you know, some, you know, some thoughts of how this would work, that we could have more of a conversation. But I don't see it as excluding people from, you know, if they need a new roof but they don't have a ramp. No, but you know, making sure or trying to ensure that our community organizations know that, you know, we're we're trying to promote accessibility and you know somewhere on the form have something that could you know kind of guide them if if they need to does that make sense i guess future discussion makes sense. for sure Thank you. thanks any more discussion on the motion on the floor question being called all those in favor signify by saying aye, aye. opposed motion carried unanimously all right, the fifth uh, recommendation from Committee of the Whole was to move regular council and regular council and the Committee of the Whole meeting to January 18th at 2.30. Moved by Councillor Allen, seconded by Councillor Nick Hilton. Any discussion on that, Deputy Warden? Uh, the only piece was something that uh, our CAO brought up and that they would be separate there would be separate meetings on the same day but starting the committee of the whole starting at 2 30. Yeah. yeah and that's the, that was from my understanding it's the committee of the whole and regular meeting that's the way i wrote it down that's the way i understood it any dis more discussion on that motion hearing none all those in favor signify by saying aye, aye. opposed motion carried unanimously um, the next one was a motion to support $500 f 
for a hundred meals program and council. I don't think we can. Maybe we can't include that. But <laughs> I don't know. Well, who's doing it? Council Tower. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I have written. Council, we Councillor Patty Durkee. My my suggestion would that that we donate five hundred dollars towards um, uh, the hundred meals program, and those of us who want to get involved in providing a meal can do so. Does that make sense? Okay, so you made that a motion, correct? Yes. Okay, moved by Councillor Durkee, seconded by Councillor Sherry Hurlebert. Um, I do have one question in regards to this motion, and I guess I'm going to have to ask the CAO because I do know that our contingency fund to grants to organization is gone. So where, my question would be, where would the money come from? So you do have um, a line item on the executive lines around council public relations and um, communications, and we could fund it out of that this year for sure. All right, uh, I would like to have that uh, be uh, an amendment to the motion personally. Uh, I, I typically don't make motions from the chair even though I can, but uh, I think that's a good idea to, to signify where it's to, coming to from. To be funded through the whatever you council mentioned. Council yep. Yes. Thanks. So you making that amendment to the main motion? Yes. We have a seconder? Seconded by Councillor Sherry Hurlbert. So there's an amendment of the main motion on the floor. Is there any discussion on that? Councillor Sherry Hurlbert. I am willing to spearhead and if we can't come up with enough council support, I'll make sure we have enough people who can help us out the day and time that it is scheduled. Any more discussion on the amendment on the floor? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. All right, now back to the main motion that's on the floor. And I will say this, if I'm available, I'll be there. Wherever it is, uh, I, do, I don't have the dates uh, nailed down yet, but in the middle of March sometime I'm going to be gone for two weeks if it happens before that I'll certainly be available and uh, actually I I have gone out on a couple occasions and helped in that regards um, I kind of wish it was in the municipality district of Yarmouth but it, this is sort of a last minute thing and maybe something that we can look forward into the future so is there any more discussion on the main motion on the floor question being called all those in favor signify by saying aye, aye. opposed Motion carried unanimously. Thank you very much, Council. Uh, the next one, a motion. Okay, there was a recommendation from the Committee of the Whole for a motion to, it says, what I have written here, please someone correct me if I'm wrong, the motion to instruct staff to set up a special Committee of the Whole meeting to meet with Mashup Labs for a virtual presentation. Moved by Councillor Nick Hilton, seconded by Councillor Patty Durkee. Is there any discussion on that motion on the floor? Question. Question being called. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. And the final recommendation from the committee of whole that I have here is a motion to write a letter of support to the Chamber of Commerce Navigator to the regarding... I have that messed up. Write a letter of support to the Chamber of Commerce regarding the navigator support f to the Office of the Health Professional yep. That's pretty much it. Recruitment Office. Yep. Yep. For their funding application. For the funding application. So Councillor Durkee, moved so by moved. Councillor Durkee, seconded by Councillor Allen. Is there any discussion on that? I do have one thing that I want to bring up. Uh, I was a little confused in regards to what this funding application is for. Uh, I do agree with a lot of the things that were said in regards to the Committee of the Whole for support. It's, it's provincial money. It was actually Councillor Allen that pointed it out, and I'd like to thank you for that. I was unaware of the letter because I was in transit between work and going home and getting cleaned, and I didn't have a chance to review the letter, so my apologies if uh, I seemed uninformed on that letter in request because I was but it was straightened out and thank you very much council for for doing that 
Any more discussion on the motion on the floor? Question being called. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. Is there any more uh, regular council business to be dealt with for the last council meeting of 2022? A motion to adjourn by Councillor Allen. Do I have a seconder? Seconded by Councillor Patty Durkee. We should wish everybody a uh, happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas. Actually, uh, if, if, if you wish to uh, say that on, because this meeting is being recorded, do you wish to uh, turn on your mic? Go ahead, Councillor Durkee. Okay, just want to wish all our constituents and their partners, everybody, a uh, happy Hanukkah and a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. All right, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, attending. I didn't call for the question on the motion on the floor to adjourn the final meeting, but I will say one final thing. Uh, everyone, please see, stay safe out there. Please make sure that you look out for your friends and neighbors and those in need. Uh, just a small act of kindness will certainly go a long way in this uh, festive holiday season. So thank you very much, Council, for 2023, 2022, and I'm looking forward to what's gonna happen in 2023 because it's been a big year, a lot of funding announcements. And I'm very excited to uh, go on the backside of Council's uh, mandate for uh, this, for this uh, upcoming last two terms, last two years of our term. So thank you very much. So motion on the floor to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you very much. Everyone take care.